Well, as investors gear up for Lyft and other unicorns to go public this year, there are some new concerns out there about the rising risks of the IPO market. And on this week's Influencers with Andy Serwer, Graycroft Partners founder and managing director Alan Patrikoff talks about the possible dangers of getting in on a stock at the ground level. I, I, I would exercise caution. I mean, the, there is a, to, to quote Alan Greenspan from 1996, there's a little bit of irrational exuberance uh, because all the companies that, not, most of the companies that are going public right at this moment in time are consumer names. So everybody knows Lyft, they know Uber, they know, they know WeWork, they know Airbnb, they know Slack. So there are a lot of well-known names and that gets the public interested and the public still have brokers or they are online brokers and they all want to have a piece of what they read about or hear about because their friend just made something on the last IPO and that creates a groundswell of demand for IPOs and we we saw it uh, here last the other day with Levi's and I guess we're going to see it very soon with Lyft uh, and uh, they're not focusing as much on the uh, metrics and you know what the revenues are and the losses are. I mean, uh, it, it's pretty significant, and that includes Uber, which you know is losing like a 800 million a quarter and having revenues of a couple hundred, a couple billion. Uh, so I think the answer to your question is, buying in the public offering is a leap of faith in the ability to cont continue this momentum that they've shown as private companies. But they're getting big, and it's hard to have those same kind of percentage growth rates when you get, the bigger you get, the growth rate has got to slow down at some point. You can't grow 50 or 100% a year when you get to be the size of some of these companies. So then the next issue is going to be, how will they, will they meet their stated uh, forward-looking statements about their first or second quarter or third quarter after they're public? Because if there is a shortfall, if there is a disappointment, uh, I've seen it and I think you may have seen it too. You, you get the living, the night of the living dead. And you can catch the full interview with Alan Patrikoff on Influencers with Andy Serwer tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern on yahoofinance.com.